Yep. I mean, I think really good is just to be able to, you know, do some things that are really positive to, to mask some of the stuff that is just going to cause you to, to lose, which we all know what those are. The, the poor fundamentals, poor tackling, penalties, you know, protection, you know, issues, not, not, not giving Derek enough room in a run game. You know, just just a lot of things, and you know that starts with me, and it has also got to be on the players. You know, to go out there and you know know what to do, play fundamentally sound, and uh, but but we we when we had to have plays, we had them. You know, impressive to be able to go out there and you know get a stop, and um, when we did, uh, impressive to be able to take the football and control it the way we did. Mike, you really seem. I know you're looking for defense to make plays. You got an early turnover. You got a big goal line stop, mm-hmm. and then you got a turnover late. I mean, how key was that? Well, you know, I mean, the one late, like that's how it goes. But you know, start the game like that with a, with a hammer and a bang bang play, um, fantastic. You know, but there's just there's too many things, and I and I know that the players will echo this sentiment. It's just too many things that you know we have to to clean up and be better. You know, we have to. Just stop the run. We got to get off blocks, set edges, not dive, and go off the diving board and miss tackles. And you know, that's what it comes down to in the run game: lining up and you know, trying to trying to beat somebody and, and shed and, and, and make tackles. So give them credit. Mike, what did you make of the way that the game Todd um, called today? It seemed, seemed like there was a lot of creativity. Um, you, you mentioned, you know, just uh, all the credit goes to the players, Ben. I don't, you know. The play, like, watch all 16 games from this week. A lot of the players are going to look the same. It's the players are the ones that make it go. It's cover one, it's cover two, cover three, cover four, right, so on and so on. Zone right, zone left, gap scheme. You know, mix in some zone read. There's a lot of plays that are similar. And and what happens in this league is that when guys know things and like, you know, they they understand what's being asked of them to do and they're taught well. And they can go in there with some confidence. You know, that's what makes it go. That's what makes the play call go. That's how it's always been. And I know this is your first year, but it's all with us. You know, guy calls a play. He's got to go in the huddle. And at that point in time, it's up to the 11 guys uh, in the huddle. You know, the quarterback to echo it. And I thought we did that a, a fantastic job down in the red zone. You know, we got in and out of the huddle. You know, plays were designed. You know how how we thought they would be, but ultimately, you know, Ryan had to get guys the football. And when it wasn't there, you know, we went fast and, you know, it ended up getting Prue, you know, wide open. And so Ryan was able to see it. So credit to Todd, I guess. Yeah, great call. But then the execution by the player. So that's what it comes down to. And from a design perspective, you know, there were more bunches, more stack. How much does that go into, you know, these guys running freely? Because it seemed like they were doing that a lot more today. Um, I mean, just trying to create ways to um, – you know, get guys open and some catch and run and um, hold up in protection. And, you know, even even Jeremy helped us out there on third down, catch and run. Marcus Johnson, it was good to have him back out there. And everybody that contributed um, to this to this victory. How much important was just to kind of stay in the fight? It seemed like both sides you know, kind of took some turns early jab, and then you guys kind of warmed down, and that 17-0 scoring spurs in the middle of the game seems like that. I mean, I think that's a lot of how it goes, especially in this league and its division. Um, you know, they're they're a talented football team, and uh, you know, we're, we're, we're going to have to move on here to, to another very good football team. But that's kind of how it goes. You got to stick around, and you know, you have to be willing to take some punches in this league to to, to stick around. Like no front runners, front runners shouldn't show up because guys aren't going to go away. Teams aren't going to going to wield on their own. You know, you're going to have to. Continue to push and and pound them, you know, until until you get some breaks. And the play at the goal line, you have to watch the film. It seemed like Tart penetrated. Yeah, from my knuckle, from yeah. my knuckle that he punched, it felt like Tart was very impactful on that play. Yeah. Um, and, and that's the expectation for Tier. You know, I mean, we we can't have the same, we can't have higher expectations for him that he has for himself. And I don't think that that's the case. But you know, we've always seen something in him, and, and Big T has always seen something in him from. You know the junior, you know the junior college journey for however many places that was, and 
you know, we just keep coaching him and teaching him and focusing on his conditioning uh, because we understand that that's the type of impact that he can make and the type of plays that he can help us make. Well, like you mentioned, uh, Marcus Johnson, just, you know, he's having a great camp and then he has the injury and all that kind of stuff. You mentioned how good it was to see him, you know, perform and, and help you guys out today. Just wonder if you could touch a little bit more on just what it was like to see him out there today playing. Yeah, it was great. You know what I mean? He's a fluid mover, a quarterback really developed some trust in him during training camp where a lot of those uh, relationships are formed. Um, and again, when you go on IR, you're just limited on what you can do. So he can be engaged in the meetings, but he's not catching any passes from Ryan. And so the ability to get him back practicing last week on a limited role, you know, and then this week um, they, they did plenty of work, you know, to be ready for uh, today. In the first half, what happened on the... Uh... Hold on, Buck. Sure. From your experience with Urban in college, what does he still have to sort of learn to make that transition to the I could only coach one team at a time. I'm focused on the Titans. What happened on the Should have went game? to you first. <laughs> <laughs> what happened on the delay of game of the first half? We didn't snap it in time. <laughs> Ashley, missed you. Um, got a lot of moving parts, Buck. You know, guys are in, guys are out, trying to focus on you know, a different lineup, you know, I mean, a group of receivers and tight ends and, you know, we, we got to get the personnel right. We got to, you know, communicate that and then get the right group out there. And that starts with me. And we just, you know, those, those are all things we got to clean up, man. That's there's a long list of stuff. And you know, you'd rather be able to do that after a victory than you would a loss, you know. That 58-yard run that uh, Robinson had, was that just a matter of shooting the wrong gap or, or what happened there? Just a lot of things. You know, I mean, again, we can always go back to when you stop the run. Edge, good edge. There's a wall. There's no creases, and guys are swarming. And it looked to me like there was a crease, and so that was that's that's not going to leave um, good results. We we'll have to get that fixed and corrected, and you know, move on the next week. Like I said, each season, each season's different. What have you learned about this team through five games? Are the distinct from some previous years, even though there are some things obviously. There. Um, you know, I think that they're going to compete. You know, I mean, they're going to compete. They're going to fight. Um, they have high expectations. Have high expectations of themselves. Um, you know, I mean, I've learned. I love coaching them. I love, you know, coming to work every day, coaching them, and you know, building relationships. So we're going to learn that we got to get better too. Thanks.